See you, neighbor. Anyway, we're underway now. It's a beautiful morning here. Uh, just through the entrance there, you can see Singapore on the other side. Uh, so we're in Malaysia, but directly out of the marina on the other side of the passage, the Johor Strait, apparently it's called. On the other side of the Johor Strait uh, is Singapore, so that's how close we are. Pretty little marina here. The only downside to this one was well, a couple. One is there's really no boat services here. Uh, if you need to get your boat repaired, there's no slipway. Uh, there's really not a lot of people around uh, with marine experience. Um, but it is very calm, very sheltered. Um, I would say quite affordable by marina standards. Uh, and the services are great. The quality of the marina is great. Um, the only other downside is a lack of fuel. To get fuel, you need to go around the corner here to the ferry jetty where you're going to pay a uh, premium price. Uh, and on top of that, they will charge you for the privilege of coming alongside to refuel with their fuel. That's like being charged to go into a service station to fuel up. Anyway, it is what it is. Um, we didn't do that. We managed to get uh, some jerrys delivered to the boat. Uh, and we've still paid a premium price anyway. So there you go. We're on our way. Um, next stop, Indonesia. Harbour, Malaysia, where we just came from, down in the Johor Strait, and Singapore on the port side. So there's us, there's the ship, there's the uh, Singaporean police boat, and there's Singapore. <laughs> All squeezed into about, oh, it's not more than 400 metres. Just to give you some idea, so this is a southern entrance to a port at, uh, or one of the ports in Singapore, and you can see the three red boxes there. Uh, they're potential collision zones with uh, three vessels heading out. Uh, through the um, through that part of the channel to join the main shipping channel. So that channel there is just a minor one. Uh, there's traffic going everywhere, so it takes a lot of attention. You've got to watch a lot. Um, but somehow it all just seems to work out. Some of these container ships absolutely dwarf everything around them. And it's hard to get an idea of scale, but a, a pilot boat has just come alongside Evergreen Aim here. Evergreen Aim looks like he's about to uh, enter Singapore and he's got a pilot coming on board. But you can see that pilot boat is just miniature beside Evergreen Aim. It's just, and look how high she's loaded with containers. My God. Well, we found a little breeze in the uh, eastbound lanes in Singapore Strait. I've set the, uh, well, we already had the, had the main up, but I've set the headsail as well. And we're now cracking along. 
against the tide at about seven and a half knots over the ground. So we're getting a really good run here. Um, we've been dodging traffic obviously for quite a while. It's kind of been busy. Uh, but now there's all these little fishing canoes in the eastbound lane trying to catch tuna by the look of it. Same as what they do in PNG. They drop down a long, long way and then jig. Uh, anyway, we've got to keep an eye out for these guys. They're hard to see and they are in the shipping lane. They must be dodging ships left and right. We've got one ship behind us, uh, that guy there, but he's only doing about five knots, we're doing seven, so we should cut well and truly ahead of him. Uh, I'm just going to keep an eye on him, just in case he changes his speed or our speed changes or something changes. But anyway, we should be well and truly clear of him in the next ten minutes. Keep on looking out for that. That's the last of the major traffic here then for the Singapore Strait. I think we can tick off Singapore Strait once that's once we get past this guy. Shouldn't be long. Well, we're uh, about uh, 30 minutes out of Nirok now, which is that uh, new marina in the Singapore Strait that you can check in for Indonesia. And they've got all the quarantine, immigration, customs, all that stuff there. And the marina will help you clear in. They, got, they run their own little agency there, clearly making some money. Uh, they're not cheap. Oh, they are not cheap. That's the entrance to Nirup Marina there. It uh, looks quite quite accessible, quite easy. Uh, we're sitting in about 18 metres of water here offshore. It doesn't seem to be shallow at all. So the marina is completely empty. <coughs> I can see why they're trying to get customers. Uh, but with the prices, I don't know how they're going to go, to be honest. check-in, customs quarantine. It was, admittedly it was a little bit of a mess, but we have sorted through it and now we're stamped in and all the paperwork's through this afternoon. I think as time goes forward they will get smoother and smoother and the process will get better mm. and better. So Kabul is definitely a nice man and he okay. wants to help you mm. there's, so there's no doubt if you come here and you need help he will help you. Good. Thank you. Yeah it's my pleasure.